Lately, there are these moments where the fear comes up out of nowhere, and my heart feels like it stopped. This is Pedro Pascal, and since 2014, he's been dominating the small screen with memorable characters in Game of Thrones, Narcos, the post-apocalyptic drama The Last of Us, and the intergalactic Star Wars hit series The Mandalorian. Hang on, kid. Pedro's big break didn't happen overnight. For nearly 20 years, he was doing guest stars on TV shows. A suspect on Law & Order, a college student turned vampire on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and a worried father on Nurse Jackie. He eventually worked his way up to playing recurring characters, his first one being a sleazy district attorney for six episodes on The Good Wife. Isn't it true? What's your goal here, Mr. Landry? Mrs. Florek. <laughs> to do your boss's bidding? Then, of course, came the ultimate recurring character, Prince Oberyn Martell in the fourth season of Game of Thrones. With his confident swagger and a seething hatred for the Lannisters, he absolutely stole every single scene he was in. Tell your father I'm here. And tell him the Lannisters aren't the only ones who pay their debts. After spending some time in Westeros, he headed to Colombia when he played DEA agent Javier Peña hot on the trail of cartel kingpin Pablo Escobar and a whole slew of criminals in Narcos. Take him. What? Just stuff him down your pants. Sometimes you gotta do bad things to catch bad people. Then, after fighting alongside Matt Damon in The Great Wall, he put on some heavy southern charm as Agent Whiskey in Kingsman the Golden Circle. Looks like we're hooking up with a chick at a rock concert. My favorite kind of mission. He was easy to hate with a more subtle performance as a double-crossing defense agent in The Equalizer 2. And his character in the sci-fi western Prospect, an intimidating, opportunistic treasure hunter, gave him plenty of juicy material to work with. Shoot or help. Just make a move. And hey, speaking of space westerns, Pedro joined the Star Wars universe as the Eastwood-esque bounty hunter Din Djarin in The Mandalorian. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. Despite being fully masked most of the time, he was still able to convey an emotional arc as he became the ultimate protector. I'll see you again. I promise. In addition to appearing as the Mandalorian in the Book of Boba Fett, and getting into some cagey hijinks with Nicolas Cage in the unbearable weight of massive talent, Stanislavski, is he part of the resistance? Stop! Pedro played Joel, another tough-as-nails rogue with a heart of gold in the TV adaptation of the iconic video game, The Last of Us. As Joel escorts a young girl across the country during a zombie-esque fungus pandemic, he begins to also come to terms with his past trauma. You have no idea what loss is. After working for so many years and honing his craft, Pedro Pascal knows the way to captivate an audience. This is the way. It's safe to say that after becoming a crucial part of several major franchises, that we haven't seen the last of him by far. 